Happening right now, the long-awaited grand opening of the multi-million dollar Port Side Pier. Five restaurants opening their doors. ABC 10 News anchor Mary McKenzie is there live along the Embarcadero. Mary, this project, as you know, has been in the works for years, and now finally it's opening during a pandemic of all things. So what's going on there now? There has been so much anticipation, uh, Virginia. So there's a little coffee spot down here, the Portside Coffee. So there has been coffee and curiosity, people walking by, stopping, taking pictures, grabbing a cup of coffee. But the decks of Portside Pier and all of the restaurants are now open. I brought my mom here already. She loved uh, what they did here. She was born and raised in San Diego, so just to see the change here, and everyone's pretty excited about this. For starters, Tuesday morning, the upper and lower decks open to much anticipation. We know the coffee, and we're just waiting for the view. The view is hard to beat from virtually all sides, and for what is likely to be a very brief period of time, you can pick your table, spaced apart and out in the open air, where you can dock and dine. The port commissioner who saw the project through from start to finish describes the space as architecturally and economically significant. It'll bring in $700,000 in rent per year for the port and employ more than 300 people. So it has a multiplier effect. It really is going to be, you know, an economic generator. And that's some great news when we can really use it. Much of the space is public access, including a walkway between the two sides. Open to the public, you don't have to buy anything to enjoy the view. Although Brigantine yeah. <laughs> Restaurant's president and CEO Mike Morton is hoping people will. This day has been a long time coming. We were selected in 2015 and here we are in July of 2020. So it's been a long process to get here, but I think the design and execution of this entire project has been amazing and we're looking forward to running it. So there is walk up availability at all of the restaurants, although Mike Morton did tell me that here at the Brigantine, their reservation sheet is pretty booked up for the foreseeable future. So he's hoping and expecting and we can already tell you that there will be tourists and natives alike coming down here to spend money at Port Sign Pier. Maybe some of those loyalists to Anthony's Fish Grotto even can come down here and get a cup of clam chowder and a glass of wine. We're live along the Embarcadero this morning. Mary McKenzie, ABC 10 News.